Greetings, and in this next video presentation, we're going to see how we go about using Vega to scan for website vulnerabilities. Vega is an open source platform to test the security and the vulnerability of web applications. Vega can help you find and validate SQL injections, cross-site scripting, inadvertently disclose sensitive information, and other vulnerabilities. It is written in Java, GUI-based, and runs on Linux, OS X, and Windows. Kali comes with Vega pre-installed, but if it doesn't, go ahead and run your app-get update. And when that's completed, run your app-get upgrade. Once you've completed the update and the upgrade, you're now ready to move on with installing Vega. Use the app-get space install space Vega command. It can take a few minutes for Vega to install, so do be patient. To open the Vega application, just type Vega at the command prompt and hit enter and it'll start right up in just a moment and you'll be able to begin your first scan. We begin by going to scan and we click on the option to start a new scan. Here we're going to type in the URL of our choice. Now in the lab I provide a number of hacking websites. These websites are specially designed to allow people to practice their pen testing skills. So you can use one of those sites or if you have some site that you're just dying to try to check out to see what vulnerabilities are present, you can use that site as well. I've chosen to use the hackthissite.org URL from the list, and now I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit, and I'm going to click on Next. Here we have two options or two modules that will be ran or we can run. Those are the injection modules and the response processing modules. We're going to leave this alone, but if there's something in here that you want to turn off, for instance, if all you're going to look for is cross-site injection checks, then you could uncheck everything else and just leave the cross-site injection checks box checked and you would be fine. We're going to go ahead and say next. We can go ahead and leave this window as a default. Say next. Here we have the excluded list of perimeters from the scan. And now we can click finish and the scan will begin. You can see how easy this is to set up. And in just a moment, you will have your scan alert summary present for this hackthissite.org. This can take a little while, so do be patient. If you are asked to follow the redirects, go ahead and click on yes, and now the scan begins. And you can see that I've already got some high, medium, and low results being returned. Once your scan has completed, you can go to the lower left window pane marked scan alerts, and you can click on the arrow to expand. Keep expanding until you come to the ratings for the different alerts or vulnerabilities. Underneath the high, we open up that, and here we see we have a cross-site script. If I click on that, you'll see that I have another listing of pages that I can click on. Now, if I click on the first page, you'll notice that over in the right window pane, I get the cross-site script and all the information that is available about it. Now, what's important here is that you read everything that is on this page, such as the discussion, the impact. This is going to give you all the information for your report or for the attack that you're about to conduct on this website. So everything that you need to know is listed here. You may not understand it quite yet, but there's enough information here to get you started. It's important that you understand why this vulnerability is rated high. And underneath the discussion, for each one of these vulnerabilities, you get that answer. So you can learn a lot just by reading the results from this scan. Now under Request, if I click on the Get, I get some more information, such as the response. And this is all the code that was gathered from the website scan. And I can look at the request that was sent. And here it is. And that request that was sent by the scanner was given this response. So that's a lot of information. You can close out this request window and then go back up to the window and select reset the pers perspective and say yes to the pop-up and you'll have your default settings back for your Vega scanner. That concludes this short video presentation on how we go about using the Vega scanner to find website vulnerabilities. So in this short video presentation, you saw how we use the Vega scanner to go out and find and scan for vulnerabilities 
on a unsuspecting website and that's just how easy it is so you can see also how this makes it so much easier to be able to launch an attack because now we know what to look for if you have any questions or you have any concerns about this video please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor and i'll see you in my next video